Okay guys, today we're going to do I Read, You Read. I'm going to do it a little bit different. I am going to point to what I'm reading with my mouse. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to give you a chance to echo it back. This time I want you working on putting your own finger at the words. If you touch the screen, it might mess your screen up. So try not to touch the screen. But you can point at the words as you read. And that's practicing your tracking. Tracking is something very important that you have to know how to do when you read. So I'm kind of weaning you off of that where you shouldn't have to follow along with me and you should be practicing following along yourself. All right, are you ready? Here we go. What did dad get? Now you read. Okay. Fred has a big bag. You read. Graham has a tan cap. You read. It is for dad. You read. Good. And if it's if I'm moving on quickly, it's because I want you trying to read quickly. You've heard me read it, and I would like you to try to read it. Our goal is to try to read like we talk. So that's why we do this, to build our fluency, to read like we speak. So here we go. Fred can hold up the bag. Your turn. Graham will drop the tan cap in it. Your turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Pop. Your turn. Jill can get the bag. Your turn. Jill has an animal. Your turn. It is a red frog. Your turn. Pop. Your turn. Jill drops the red frog in the bag. Your turn. It is for dad. Your turn. Graham, said Fred, Dad has a red frog. Your turn. How did Dad get it? Your turn. Dad has his tan cap. Your turn. Dad has a red frog on top of his cap. Your turn. Fred, Jill, and Graham grin at Dad. Your turn. Okay, that was the end. Our next one's going to be really neat. It's all about crabs. So, I read, you read. Great practice. Make sure you're doing it. Make, make, make sure you're doing the reading part right after me.